Hi friends, this is Miss Kopak. In this video, we are going to learn a little bit about measurement. So this cat here is ready to measure. He has his invisible tape measure. Are you ready to measure with me? Before we get into measurement, I want to remind you of a couple of things. First, I want to remind you about fractions. Remember, fractions are when we take a whole shape, a whole object, or a whole number and break it into equal pieces. So my candy bar here, if I break it into two pieces, I have a half and a half. Remember, when we put a half and a half together, we have one whole. Another thing I want to remind you about is number lines. A ruler is a tool that we use to measure. And a ruler kind of looks like a number line. It has a number line on it. The only big difference is that a ruler's number line has these little lines in between it. And those little lines represent fractions. So depending on your ruler, you might see a lot of little lines like you see in this picture. Sometimes you might only see a few. Sometimes you might see none at all. You just need to remember that those little lines represent fractions. So when we measure, we use units. And there are lots of units in the world, and we use those units for different types of measurements. For example, there are two measurement systems. There is the customary system which is used in the United States. So when we measure things, we tend to use these units, inches, feet, yards, and miles. We use inches for smaller measurements. Um, feet, 12 inches makes a foot. So if you think your ruler is about a foot long. For longer measurements, like the length of your door, you might use yards. Um, from side to side of your door, that's about one yard. And then for really long lengths, we use miles. In other countries and in science, we use the metric system of measurement. So for smaller measurements, they use centimeters. And then for things that are a little bit longer, they use meters. So like your kitchen counter, you might use meters to measure that. And then for really long lengths, they use kilometers. So you will hear some of these units of measurement throughout the week, but the big ones to focus on right now um, are inches and centimeters. So today we're going to talk a lot about inches. Uh, an inch is about a paper clip. A paper clip is about one inch long. When you use a ruler, the numbers on the ruler are, represent inches. So here you can see I have a number line from a ruler. And you can see at the beginning is zero. And then here is one inch, two inches, three inches, four inches. And then most rulers keep going on and on after that. But the little lines in between represent my fractions. The one that I want you to focus on for now is the one right in the middle. The one right in the middle is the half mark. So if this is zero, this would be one half. And then remember, if we take a half and a half, a half and a half together, we get one whole inch. And then this would be one and a half. And this is two, because if we put those two halves together, we get another inch. So we have zero, a half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three three and a half, four. Can you keep counting with me? Four and a half, five. Five and a half, six. Six and a half, seven. Seven and a half, eight. Eight and a half, nine. Nine and a half, ten. Ten and a half, eleven. Eleven and a half, twelve. We'll stop there. When you get to twelve inches, that makes one foot. So when you measure to the nearest half inch, you could use fractions like half, one and a half, two and a half, three and a half. Or you could also use whole numbers because when you take two halves and put them together, you get a whole. So when you measure to the nearest half inch, you could get any of these numbers as an answer. It could be a fraction, it could be a whole number. 
So let's look at some examples. Here I have a picture of a chalkboard and I lined up my ruler underneath the picture and I made sure that my edges are lined up. This would be my zero mark. And I'm going to try to find out where the other end uh, lines up with. So I see the chalkboard goes past the seven. So it's more than seven inches long, but it doesn't get all the way to the eight. It is right in between. So since it went past the seven, I would put the seven here and it didn't get all the way to the eight, but it's right in the middle. That's the half mark. So the length of this chalkboard is seven and a half inches. And we can abbreviate the word inches by doing I-N with a period. So this chalkboard is about seven and a half inches long. Here is a picture of a school bus. If I want to measure my picture of the school bus, how long my picture is, Again, I line up my ruler, the edge of the bus, and I'm going to see where the other end of the bus ends. It went past the five, but not all the way to the six. It's right in the middle. So this illustration is five and a half inches long. Take a look at this picture of a goose. About how long is the goose? I see that it ends right near the three. It doesn't go past the three. Here's three and a half. It doesn't go all the way there. It's right near the three. So I would say that this goose is about three inches long. How about the pig's head? How long is the pig's head? What do you think? If you said four inches long, you are correct. Notice it ends right near the four. It does not go to the four and a half mark. And it also is not at the three and a half mark either. It is closer to the four. How about the length of this penguin? What do you think for this one? Notice the penguin goes past the six, but it doesn't go all the way to the seven. It's more right in the middle. So we would use a half, so six and a half inches. How about this time we measure some lines? So I have a ruler here and I'm going to line up my ruler to the top red line. I lined it up nice and neat. Take a look at this first line. About how long do you think that first line is? I think this line is about two and a half inches long. It is right in the middle in between the two and the three. Here is the middle, that's our half mark. So this is about two and a half inches long. Let's go to the next one. I'll line it up for you. What do you think about this one? I think this line is about three inches long. It goes a teeny tiny bit past the three, but not all the way to the half. So think about what it's closest to. This one is about three inches long. How about the third red line? What do you think about this one? If you said one and a half inches, I agree with you. It goes past the one, but not all the way to the two. It's right in the middle. So that would be one and a half inches long. And finally, this last one. What do you think about this last red line? I would say this is a half an inch. So it is not all the way to the one. It's about halfway there. So this would be half an inch. So next time we will go back over the half inches and then we'll also learn about measuring to the nearest quarter inch. So see you next time, friends.